I am happy to report that the weather is just warm enough today where I didn't have to wear a jacket. Understand, I'm in Minnesota, so like when it's 40 degrees, we decide not to wear jackets, right? I wore this really thick sweater, and after hauling in this entire grocery haul that you're gonna see in a minute, I'm actually <laughs> like perspiring. That's how warm it is, and I am here for it. <laughs> friends, welcome back to my channel and a special hello if you are new here. My name is Brianna, I am the diva behind Diva and the Divine and I am so glad you clicked on this video today because we have a grocery haul that was pretty much accidental. Um, I went to Costco for one thing and I left with like $180 worth of things because Costco, right? And then I went to Target and when do you ever leave with only what's on your list at Target? To be fair, I had more of a mental list running so I didn't buy anything that was uncalled for or unnecessary necessary, but there were some things that were actually just not written down, which is totally fine. So today's video is a grocery haul from Costco and from Target, and it is for what I eat to lose weight. It is entirely a, well, with a couple of exceptions, just a couple of exceptions, but it is a very healthy, very weight loss focused grocery haul. However, one thing that I actually want to mention is that my husband and I have gotten a couple of signs from the universe, some signs from God. We both have encountered different articles um, promoting the Mediterranean diet in the last week. And I actually shared one of these articles that I saw on the news with my in-laws and that family thread we have going on. And my husband texted me privately and was like, I am on board with the Mediterranean diet. And so we talked about it a little bit. And after doing a little bit of research, we actually eat the Mediterranean diet, probably 60 to 70% of our diet is that lean meats, vegetables, fruits, clean oils, grains, things like that. But we want to take it a little bit of a step further. So what I'm actually going to do instead of explain to you what the Mediterranean diet is in depth, I'm going to share with you in the link below the Healthline article that lays it out beautifully and just very like, here's the rundown. Here's Mediterranean diet 101. Ultimately, it is supposed to be really good for heart health. It's supposed to help in weight loss or it can cause weight loss because of the way you are eating. It is not technically a diet that you calorie count in or anything. Like it's just a way of eating, right? But it also helps with, and the thing that I found was the mental health aspect. Not like anti-depression, but like helps prevent things like dementia. And that runs in my husband's family. So as soon as he started hearing stuff about this and we saw these articles and things, he, he like, he heard it on his news podcast. We were like, hmm, Maybe this is something really worth looking into to protect our minds. So a lot of this grocery haul is Mediterranean diet-esque. We will never be perfect. We will never be flawless. We will always have sweets and treats because that's just the kind of people we are. But consistency, 80, 85, 90% of the time is the goal here. And so the quality of the food reflects that. So I also tried to buy more organic, more whole food, more um, just, well, You'll see. Let's get into the grocery haul. All right, so we are starting with what I purchased at Target. A lot of it is standard operating procedure with a couple of changes. We've got some eggs, because we always have eggs. I got a flavored Greek yogurt because even though like the best one is just plain Greek yogurt and add your own stuff, guys, I'm never gonna buy plain Greek yogurt just to eat it. I'm never gonna do that, I don't like it. However, I did buy plain Greek yogurt, fat free. Why? Because I have a couple of recipes, including that stellar blueberry muffin recipe that I shared with you in my last vlog. Yes, making it again. Um, and I need Greek yogurt, but I also need it for a chicken salad recipe. So I just, it was most cost effective to buy this container. I will use recipes that use this product to use it up. I got blueberries, because like I said, gotta make those blueberry muffins again. Lots of produce, you guys. We got organic cherry tomatoes. I'm going to be making a balsamic caprese chicken salad that I'm so excited about. It is from Sweet and Savory Steph. One of my Instagram friends shared that she made it, and then I instantly had FOMO and had to make it myself. And my husband is on board with the idea of chicken salads instead of like processed meats, um, like lunch meat, deli meat for lunches. So I was like, let's try that. So we have this. I got some bagged lettuce because convenience, and it's really easy to throw it in my new awesome container. Guys, I have to show you this container. This Rubbermaid container made for produce is amazing. The produce stays fresh so much longer. I bought a set of two. I also have one for berries right here. That set of two was available at Target. I'll have it linked down below. Really highly recommend it. So I bought some romaine and some 
uh, green leaf lettuce. I got one red onion for the recipe. Side note, these bags are from Amazon and I bought these to try and be a little bit more environmentally conscious. So in lieu of using those plastic produce bags you get in the store, you can use these instead. And it's very, very cool because if you are at a place that will actually tear out your um, the weight of the bag for you, the weight is right on the bag. It's very, very cool. I'll link those down below too because they weren't all that expensive. I got some cucumbers. I got some avocados. I got three of them. I got these little mini fresh mozzarella cubes. These are for the caprese chicken salad as well, as is the basil. We got carrots. Treat number one, Tony's Chocolone, which is my new favorite brand of chocolate. I love Lindt chocolate. It's one of my favorites. Um, but this one ranks really high up there. They were on Target Cartwheel for, or Target Circle. It's called Target Circle now. Bah! Target Circle for 20% off. And these are like over $5 a bar. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. They're freaking gigantic, but they're still $5 a bar. Um, so I bought two to be able to break up and portion out as a sweet treat. We got celery hearts. I got organic coconut palm sugar to have as like a sugar alternative. That's still like, it's still, your body still treats it as sugar, right? But I know it's like a healthier for you sugar. So when I do things like need to add just a little sprinkle of something sweet to it, like berries and whatnot, I figured I could try using that instead. I got some more of my all time favorite organic Dijon mustard. This is the Good and Gather brand from Target. Love it. Also bought a new container of my Primal Kitchen Mayo. We are currently using light mayo, but that is also made with the questionable in quality oils, right? This one's made with avocado oil. So just to switch it back up, um, I got some Cadbury mini eggs because these are our favorite Easter treat outside of Peeps. And I got three bags of the 90 second whole grain blend. This stuff is amazing. I mean, just, just look at these macronutrients. It's so good. So I'm gonna make some salmon bowls and stuff with those. I got some organic all-purpose flour because I've been baking and cooking up a storm. And then I got some pop at home kernels. Why? Because one of the things that was explicitly listed in that Healthline article for like the foods to avoid other than like, you know, highly processed carbs, like white, white bread and things like that and um, excess sugar, things like that. Um, microwave popcorn was actually on the list for things to avoid. And my husband eats microwave popcorn at least five days a week. So we talked about what if we actually got one of those like silicone microwave air pop popper things and we made our own popcorn. We could put spring our, our own flavorings on it, things like that. And it eliminates the bad, the harmful oils um, because they're very focused. The Mediterranean diet is very focused on avocado oil and high quality olive oil. And those are like your fats, right? So, and nuts and things like that. But so, so I decided to buy some popcorn kernels and I ordered a silicone microwave popper on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. I bought some more Triscuits. You guys, did you realize that Triscuits are only three ingredients? Like, look at that. Whole grain wheat, yes, canola oil, whatever. And uh, you can't win them all, right? And sea salt, but like, how's that for an ingredients list? Not too shabby. I always like to have a couple of baking mixes on hand if we ever need a dessert or we are going somewhere and I should prepare a dessert. Um, I did buy some more of this acne control cleanser by V. I left the one that I purchased originally in Florida. And because of that, I have been without it. And my skin has been doing a little bit of breaky breaky out lately. So I decided to pick up some more of this because I really liked it for the price. Um, and it was very gentle, but effective. I got some frozen mukamame, which is just shelled edamame. This is for the salmon bowls as well frozen cauliflower, frozen broccoli. And then here's where we start to get into like the good stuff. We've got wild caught Alaskan cod fillets. We've got jumbo shrimp. The jumbo shrimp was actually on Target Circle for 20% off. So I actually have a bag of this in my freezer already and I bought another one because why the heck not? Um, and then in my freezer, I also have Good and Gather wild caught salmon and I have wild caught mahi. So I've got three different kinds of wild caught frozen fish in my freezer now. And then I got some more organic blueberries for our smoothies because we are just about out. So that was the target part of the haul. Now let's move on to Costco. I started with the Costco version, the Kirkland signature version of Kerrygold butter. Um, this is their grass fed butter. It's very, very good. It's very, um, the price is right. So I bought that. 
And then again, with trying to get away from the oils, there is a time and a place for Pam. I'm going to just tell you that. Baked goods need Pam. I have not found anything that anti-sticks better than Pam with baked goods, right? Except for like using parchment paper. For like cooking in a skillet and things like that, we upgraded to Chosen Foods 100% pure avocado oil spray. The only ingredient is avocado oil. None of the extra silicone dioxide stuff that's usually in some of these other ones. So we got that. We got our favorite cheese, the Cabot Seriously Sharp Cheese. This is just, the price is right on this. We go through full fat, high quality sharp cheddar cheese a lot in our house. This is one of our favorite snacks. So when I can buy a decent quality one that tastes good in bulk, I buy it. Um, <laughs> I bought Heavenly Hunks. This was probably actually a horrible idea, but they are so, so good. The ingredients are great. They're just a great little like oatmeal cookie type thing. Like it's a sweet treat, but it's kind of healthy for you, you know, um, and really clean ingredients, organic, gluten-free, glycophosphate free um, oats. All of those really great things. And they were on sale for $3 off for the giant bag. So it was $6.99 instead of $9.99. So I bought them. And it may be the only time I buy them, but I bought them nonetheless. Here's something that I've never purchased before, but it's for nutritional purposes. Um, have you guys heard of the mineral selenium? Selenium is something that is great for thyroid health. And it is something that I actually have a supplement for. I have a, I have a little pill that I take alongside when I supplement with my iodine. These bad boys contain so much selenium that you can get your entire day's worth of selenium in two Brazil nuts. Not kidding. Check it out. Research it two Brazil nuts. So these are organic whole Brazil nuts. The nutrition information is for nine Brazil nuts, but I decided like what a really great whole food way, like what an honest to God, great way to use food to get your nutrients. All I got to do is pop two of these a day, right? Awesome. So I am totally here for that. I decided to give it a try. If I hate them, I'll never buy them again, but I don't anticipate hating them. I bought some more almond butter for smoothies and things of that nature. The only ingredient in here is roasted almonds, here for that. And then I got some more wild caught Alaskan smoked salmon. I love this. I love this, I love this. And the nutrition information difference between wild caught smoked salmon and farm raised smoked salmon is astronomical. Go look up, look up some regular smoked salmon and then look up, or and then look at this and you will see the difference, it's huge. I bought some organic chicken. I paid a little bit more to get the slightly higher quality. Report back on that later. This is going to be turned into my chicken salads. And then the big splurgy splurge of all the splurges is I actually bought a filet of wild caught salmon. Um, wild sockeye salmon, previously frozen. Yes, that's fine. I don't care. Um, and I'm going to actually use this. I'm going to cut the skin off of this and dice it up. I'm going to use it to make salmon air fried salmon chunk bowls and I'm very excited about that. Um, I got some vinegar because I use that in my laundry as my fabric softener. I use it to clean things. I use vinegar all the time. The whole reason I went to Costco, the whole reason, my husband texted me this morning before he left for work and said, we are almost out of bread. That's the reason I went to Costco. This $9 thing is why I went to Costco. And I came home with this. Like, my husband's gonna kill me, but it's fine. So this is the angelic based bakehouse bread. The macros on this are amazing. The ingredients on this are amazing. It is probably the single reason we're going to keep our Costco membership <laughs> because this bread is like $6 a loaf at a regular store. And it was like, like I said, like eight, 60 something, it may be $9 for the three loaves. You can't knock the Costco price. Um, but look at this, one gram of fat, um, 18 carbs, this is per slice, three fiber and five protein. And look at these ingredients, you guys. It can't be beat. And my husband, who has a sensitive stomach, can eat it. I like to eat this. It's, it's great. It's great. And then two fun things that I purchased. Uh, these were on sale for like $3 off. And I want to start wearing bike shorts underneath dresses. I have one pair. I don't know where they are. So <laughs> I bought those. And then my treat of all treats. I saw this on Instagram and I had to have it. This is like the most not on plan thing in the, what you dig it, in the haul. But I love carrot cake. 
They're portion controlled. I can divide them in half. How am I going to track them? No freaking idea. Well, actually, that's not true. I'm going to first look in my fitness pal and see if they're actually listed in there. And if they're not, I'm going to look up carrot cake in a listing by grams. And I'm going to weigh the cake or the half a cake, whatever serving I want it to be. And then I'm going to track it as such. It's really not that hard. Even if you can't track something perfectly, maybe the recipe is a little bit different. It might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less. It doesn't matter. As long as you track something, as long as you are accountable to yourself for the food you eat when you're trying to lose weight, you're going to succeed, right? So tracking something is always better than tracking nothing. All that to say, I bought myself carrot cakes and they might all be mine because my husband doesn't like nuts in his dessert and these have walnuts in them and I was like you know what I don't even care because I love carrot cake and I love cream cheese frosting so as long as these taste pretty good I will happily eat them all myself I'm going to leave a couple of them out I'm going to put some in the freezer and hope that they freeze well and we'll see what happens so that my friends was my introduction to the Mediterranean diet slightly meal planned grocery haul from Target and Costco. If you've ever tried the Mediterranean diet, I would love to know if you have any favorite recipes or tips or tricks. Leave them in the comments below for me. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not a member of the Diva and the Divine community. We would love to have you. You definitely want to subscribe because if you want to see what I make with all of this food, you're going to want to be a member of the Diva and the Divine community because I share that in vlogs that will happen after the fact. So, Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.